hello dear friends welcome back to my channel so uh, my dear friends most of the students are still in the confusion that uh, what is the credit system how many credit points should be there so that they can avoid this uh, year back system as in the earlier video previous video i have just uh, mentioned over there what is the condition for the year back system right so most of the students are still querying uh, querying about this uh, year back system so let me tell you my dear friends this is the physics cycle if you uh, are the uh, if you have cleared your p cycle also and c cycle let me discuss first the credit points over here as you can see here the mathematics first of all i have taken the mechanical engineering here as an example for the sake of instance i am taking the mechanical engineering stream otherwise uh, there is no compulsion on the branches over here whatever the branch you have so p cycle and c cycle is almost same for every everyone over there so uh, mathematics has a credits you can see at the last that is the credit points here uh, are four and applied physics uh, is four also elements of mechanical engineering is three points three credit points and engineering science like uh, course first emerging technology or uh, you may have programming language course one or uh, community english so it contains uh, three credits over here right so like that professional writing skills one in a, uh, indian constitution one also uh, scientific foundations of health that is sfh and innovation and design thinking also contains one credit so this becomes the 20 credits in the p cycle right so uh, in the second semester uh, sorry in the uh, c cycle of the second semester it may be in the first semester for somebody's for some branches uh, so this is the C, C cycle also contains the same credits like 4 for mathematics 2, applied chemistry uh, 4 credits, 3 credits for computer aided engineering drawing over there. So uh, VTU has uh, set up these credits for uh, P cycle and C cycle. Also for the higher semesters when you go for higher semesters you will not be see the 4 credit uh, four credits in the higher semesters like 6th uh, semester uh, or 7th, 8th eight, semester you will not see these uh, credit points as 4 over there so in the first and second semester there are 4 four, four, four credits for the sub math subjects so suppose <clears throat> if you have cleared math subject second over here and also chemistry you have cleared so that becomes 4 plus 4 that is 8 credits right likewise you have to add up these credits suppose if somebody has backlogs in these three main subjects uh, like mathematics second applied chemistry computer aided engineering drawing so this becomes 4 plus 4 plus 3 that is uh, 11 credits uh, he has losing over there he, um, so rest of the credits will uh, 3 plus 3 that is 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 plus 1 9 so uh, this becomes 9 and same in the uh, next semester that is p cycle if somebody has got nine credits also same like that if has also still backlogs in the main subjects but uh, credit points are nine over there so you can just add up nine plus nine simply credits over there so it becomes 18 so you are on the safer side you can proceed for the third semester you can take admissions in the third semester so uh, no need to worry about uh, how many subjects you have backlogs over there as earlier i have mentioned uh, there is no compulsion on the backlogs either it may be four more than four backlogs so it totally depends on the credit systems over there so you should have more than 16 plus credits so that you are eligible to the uh, third semester over there right so i hope this much information is enough uh, for you people to clear your doubts still if you have some doubts you can ask in the uh, comment section so comment down i will definitely answer those comments and tackle those uh, comments over there so thanks for watching my video